Okay guys, this is part two of our 1978 carver that we got for a dollar. Uh, this one has to do with removing the hull paint or bottom paint, it's also called. Here's a picture of the boat before. You can tell the water line where the water is starting to uh, deteriorate and erode that paint. And of course, here's a picture of the boat completely stripped. Now the video is a little long, but please stay with us. It's going to be well worth it. See you at the end. Buy some worthless old boat and fix it up new. So right now we're in the process of removing the hull paint. And uh, you can see pretty obviously where the water line was. So we're just using a uh, power washer, 3000 PSI power washer. I've got a portable uh, tank, water tank. So we're just power washing. And of course you can see right where the water line is because below the water line it's just coming off really easy. But it's pretty thick, pretty heavy above the water line. So it's not coming off as easy. Uh, probably won't. I'll probably have to sand that off. All right, we're going to give this a go, see if I can do this one-handed. Since I don't have anybody here to help me film. Do it the old-fashioned way. bottom paint pretty much comes clean off. with any more uh, video but uh, you get the picture it's coming off really well we just had to jump up to a 3000 psi power washer and that seems to do the trick below the water line okay uh, quick update on the hull sand the old uh, hull paint off the carver um, we got it all power washed you can see all the crud there and then we started sanding with uh, 80 grit and 50 grit on the 5 inch orbital sander and uh, we even got the uh, stuff off above the water line it was a big thick deposit we took paint thinner and um, epoxy remover paint and epoxy remover and uh, got that off and then we took a belt sander and took it off and then smoothed it out with the uh, 5 inch orbital sander so um, right now we're uh, working on sanding and uh, you can see down here it's pretty clean. Uh, you can see some spots where we've gone through the fiberglass and some spots where it really needed it. There's a lot of pitting that uh, we're going to have to f uh, feather out. And then you can see where I still have to sand. So I'm going to shoot a short video on uh, sanding that. And uh, basically, once we power wash it, how easy it comes off. Hold on. So we got a little noise from our generator, but. So you get the picture. It uh, takes it down to the gel coat, which is what we need to do before we put the barrier coat on. So we'll uh, shoot that later. We are just about done sanding the whole paint off. Uh, we're down to the gel coat. So it's nice to see a nice clean bottom. Uh, so again, we power washed it. 
uh, most of the uh, ablative hole paint came off. And then from there we had to uh, sand with 80 grit sandpaper. And we're just getting finished up. Now, uh, I found a few blisters, very few of them. But we also have quite a few dings in the hall um, and other areas that needed to be kind of ground out. So I'm using my Dremel tool with a tip and just like a cavity and a tooth, we're kind of cleaning these up and getting them ready for filling. Uh, we're going to fill this with a, uh, a filler resin. Uh, some type of epoxy resin for marine. We'll get to that later, but I'm just making sure that all of the uh, old hull paint is out of there so that we have a good bonding. So we're just cleaning these up, getting any remnants of that old, and make sure that we have a good adhesion with the filler. So we're just going through here and hitting these holes and kind of cleaning them up. So I found a few blisters on the hull. Um, I've seen a couple that we've opened up and uh, they were pretty close to the surface. And we cleaned okay, quick video. Needed to work on this uh, old repair job that was done. Um, just not very good. They did it on top of the uh, hole paint. There's black underneath it, which is the old hole paint, and uh, just poor craftsmanship. Anyway, so we had to get it off the blocks. So I went out and bought a second bottle jack. I brought one with me, and we did this little contraption here, where we got uh, two bottle jacks on each side, and then uh, crank them up both at a time, slow. And distribute the weight out and then of course uh, crank on these pedestals um, but this seems to work so that I was able to remove those two blocks so I did go inside and check out the fiberglass and see what kind of support structures there were in there make sure that uh, it was okay to lift at that point but this one was on two blocks so um, and that's actually pointier and uh, there's this flat area out here. I didn't know if that was a lift point or not, but uh, it looks like it's pretty beefy. But that whole um, center line there is pretty beefed up. So as long as I distribute the load like that, I should be okay for a little bit. So I'm going to get this sanded. I'm going to get some um, filler epoxy and feather that out and uh, try to make that look decent so that uh, we can paint it and get the whole paint on. Mixed up. I guess you got like 15 to 20 minutes. Already done the other side. So I'm probably already 10 minutes into this. Use this as a straight edge. Okay. Clean this up. I want to make sure I hit this hole in the back to be clean.
So thanks for staying until the end. I know it's about 10 minute video, but that 10 minutes represents really about two weeks of time. And uh, there was a lot more detail and things that we didn't cover in there. But um, this was a very time consuming project. Uh, but I think it turned out very well. We got uh, all of the old bottom coat, all the old hull paint off. And I think it looks really good. And in the next video, uh, we're actually going to switch to the engines next, and we're going to go through the uh, the engines. And then we'll come back on the fourth video and finish up with painting of the hull before we uh, launch this baby in the water. So stay tuned, and I look too forward to talking to you guys next time.